In this video, we are going to create a new table using the SQL Server Management Studio Designer. We have the editor open right here and we have an item table in the database and we can create a new table which would define the parts for the item. So we'll call it part. So to create the table, we'll go to tables, right click, click on table and the designer opens. My first column I usually name it ID type is usually integer I don't want this uh, to be null and I set this one as a primary key my second column I want it to be the column that references the item table and it would reference the ID field in the item table so I name this item ID integer and to set the relationship I right click click on relationships and then add and I come over here click on this button and the window opens um, showing the two tables that we will connect using this designer so the first table, my primary table is item and the column in that would be ID and for my table is the item ID field that references it. So I hit OK. That takes care of the foreign key relationship. I'll add another column, call it part name. and give it description this is maybe we'll have it for like 50 won't allow nulls here either and maybe have another one we'll call it description we don't need to call it part name we'll just say name these are just some personal choices here but I want the description to be 250 let's say I'll allow nulls here so now we have a set of columns we hit save it asks me for the name of the table I'll put in part there you go it just created it when I hit refresh I can see my table here there's one last thing that I need to do on this ID field I want the auto increment to be set so I right click and click on modify and uh, now I go to the properties of the first column and where it says identity specification I expand that and say is identity I say yes please and for the identity increment I say one the default so I hit save and And that's it, my table is ready to use.